Hey everyone, Iron Monk here, and today I'm going to talk about some different ways that you can improve your damage in World of Warcraft Shadowlands without getting any additional gear. Now I've been asked a lot about, you know, what's my, you know, what's my stat priority? I have troubles with my rotation. What am I doing wrong? And in this video here, I'm going to give you some ways that you can address those issues and improve your overall DPS and become better at whatever class you're playing. So let's get into it. The first thing that you can do is try to optimize your gear, and I would suggest using a tool like RaidBots. And if you don't know what RaidBots is, RaidBots is a free uh, tool. It's a website. You just go to RaidBots.com where you're able to sim your character and figure out what is the best gear to currently use. So I, I like to go to RaidBots and go to Top Gear. And then if you download the Simulation Craft add-on, which I'll put a link in the description below, you can get a you can get your character string, you ba simply copy and paste it into this text box up here and then it will show you all the gear that's currently in your bags and what you're able to do is select other gear to sim against and basically you can go down there's a, there's a whole bunch of different options, you can do enchants um, gems, you can even do uh, conduits and your soul bind talents and then when you go down and scroll down near the bottom here you could change what type of simulation you want to do say if you want to do patchwork like a single target fight boss fight you could change the length of the fight or let's say you wanted to sim simulate dungeons you can go to dungeon slice or if you wanted to simulate I don't know some sort of you know AOE pool, you could do like even patchwork and put like eight bosses to like 40 seconds. And then you just click on find top gear. Now, Raidbot's baseline is free, but it does, if you did, uh, they do have a paid service too, what allows you to select uh, more pieces and you sim quicker. I just use the free version, it works just fine for me. You might have to run a couple more sims to get all the stuff that you want to simulate um, simulated but I would highly suggest optimizing your gear in raid bots I, I get asked a lot about you know what's what's my stat priority and the truth is like it could change depending on how much of another stat you actually have so go to raid bots download the simulation craft add-on um, and, and definitely start simming your character if you haven't this is just an invaluable tool to figure out what gear is best for you. Another feature I like to utilize in, in raid bots is um, another feature on the front page called Quick Sim. So basically, you can just go to Quick Sim here. I already have my character in here, um, and then if I wanted to do like a single target boss fight, I'll do patchwork one boss five minutes, and then I'll go to Quick Sim. And this is going to take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. So now that the quick sim is done, um, there's a lot of good information that's provided with a quick sim. For instance, the damage breakdown here. You can see on that five minute single target patchwork fight that Rising Sun Kick was my top damaging ability. And then uh, some damage from my uh, Storm Earth and Fire clones, followed by Black Kick, Fist of Fury, then Melee, and then uh, Zoo and the White Tiger, and so on. So what the information tells me here, say if I was on a single target fight and I realized, hey, my melee is actually ahead of my Fist of Fury, then maybe I did not cast Fist of Fury enough times. And that would kind of give me an indication that maybe I need to hit Fist of Fury more on CD and maybe I've been holding on, it, holding on to it too long. So this is pretty an optimal type of damage breakdown. So... Uh, for whatever situation you're in, you should definitely check your damage meters. Um, I use details to figure out my damage breakdown in game, and then compare it to what you see on in, in this information here on raid bots. The other thing that it kind of shows you here in a quick sim is kind of um, your sample ability log, which is down here towards the bottom. Um, so you can kind of tell, there's a lot of other stuff in here, they assumed uh, you had a feast and your flask and your augmented rune, and then uh, it goes into kind of a, a timeline rotation, so it looks like you did tiger palm, then expel harm, then tiger palm, popped invoke Zuan the white tiger, 
and then weapons of order, storm of fire, etc. Now this isn't necessarily an optimal rotation. I would highly suggest that you check out your classes discords and I'm going to post all the classes discords down below. Um, so you can go in there and ask questions and um, m most of those discords have a, uh, a link to some sort of website that has priority list or optimal rotation list. But this is just a sample log of kind of abilities used and when they were used them according to the sim. So if I, if I was simming myself on let's say a single target fight uh, at a specific time length and my DPS wasn't quite reaching um, what the simulated DPS was, I'd definitely take a look. I kind of like, wh hey, what is what what is my quick sim kind of look like? And I, I would take this with a grain of salt, obviously, but uh, definitely um, the damage breakdown here should be quite similar to whatever situation that you've simulated while you're playing the game. Another thing you could look at to improve your DPS is looking at Warcraft logs. Now, if you don't know what Warcraft logs are, um, it's basically a website that um, raid teams and Mythic Plus teams can actually log their their encounters and it gives kind of a complete breakdown of stats of you know what they cast what their damage was done and and stuff like that now this isn't the most exciting thing and it takes some time to get used to but it, it once you get used to this and you learn how to actually look at this this type of stuff you will become a better player so I'm on the front page of Warcraft logs I like to go up here to this top bar and let's just check out, let's check out Mythic Shriekwing. And I'll tell you what I'm looking at here. I'll go to Rankings. And I, I play Windwalker Monk, so I'm going to go look at Classes, Windwalker Monk on Mythic Shriekwing. And I always look for a log that's in English, so you can, so I can read it better. So I'm going to go down to, well, let's check out this guy here. So here's the log of the fight. You can see that this, this monk here parsed in the 99th percentile. So he's doing quite well. So what I like to do is click on his name and then it'll give you a damage breakdown, the number of casts that he did for each ability. And let's say if I had, you know, for some reason more Fist of Fury cast than Rising Sun Kick cast, I know that that's a problem um, that I'm not casting Rising Sun Kick enough, for instance. You also, it also depends on fight length. For instance, this, this kill was 3 minutes and 57 seconds. These numbers will change based on your fight length, but it'll give you a general overview of kind of what your damage breakdown should look like. Another thing that you can look at here, I like to go to uh, casts, and I like to go to timeline. So this right here gives you a complete breakdown exactly what this player casted when. You can see that he rolled in, then casted uh, tiger Palm, Fist of, Fist of the White Tiger, and then look like he popped Zuen with his Trinket. So these are probably macroed together and also potioned at the same time. Then popped his Weapons of Order, Storm Earth and Fire, then he immediately fixated his clones, and then did a Rising Sun Kick, Fist of Fury, and then one second later he Blackout Kicked. So that would indicate to me that right here he cancelled his Fist of Fury and then did a Whirling Dragon Punch, Blackout Kick, etc. Anyway, you could do this for any class to see kind of what another player is casting. Maybe they're doing something a, a little bit different than you or they're doing something completely different from you. But my advice would be to look at, look at this cast breakdown and the previous damage breakdown and compare them to your own. Uh, what you're doing in a fight as well. You could download, uh, there's software here for Warcraft logs that you could log your own fights as well in Raid. And you could also log your uh, Mythic Plus encounters as well, but I find that to be a little bit more confusing and that's not really something that I use. But the, if this is not the most exciting thing to look at, but definitely uh, you should learn this and you should look at data because the more information you have, the better player that you can become. So I su highly suggest that you take a look at Warcraft logs. So now that you've optimized your character and looked at logs and analyzed your rotation, uh, the only thing that's left to do is actually practice. Now I would suggest practicing on a target dummy. You could pra There's target dummies for AoE and there's target dummies for single target. Um, it's much better to practice on a target dummy than in a live setting because in a live setting you got a lot going on you can't really just focus on doing 
your optimal damage uh, rotation or priority. So I, I think the target dummy is really underutilized for a lot of people. So I would suggest using one. I, the way that I would use it would be, you know, hit the target dummy for two minutes, reset all your cooldowns, and then come back and hit it for another two to three minutes and rinse and repeat. Um, so that, that's my advice here to improve your DPS without actually getting more gear. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, you can also check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ironmonktyson. I'll post a link in the description below. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.